Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. My name is Gary. And I'm Steve, and today we are going to talk about a feature that was introduced with Windows Vista called Ready Boost. If you've ever been in the situation where you wish you had more RAM, maybe your computer only came with like a gig of RAM, and it seems like your hard drive's kind of working really hard, that means you ran out of RAM, and more RAM means more speed. However, maybe you don't want to go out and buy RAM, maybe your computer's like a laptop or something, and it's really difficult to put new RAM into it, or expensive, well, Ready Boost is a solution. Right, Ready Boost is going to allow you to use just a regular flash drive, to plug into your USB port and use that as additional space for random access memory or RAM, which, which normal people will call it. Uh, it allows your computer to store things there in a quick and easy way so it doesn't use your hard drive and it'll allow you better performance in some cases. Right, and the some cases is this. If you have one of the newer computers with a solid state drive, um, you're not going to see a performance increase at all. In fact, it's going to hurt you. If you have a computer that has a 7200 RPM hard drive, one of those faster ones, it's going to be about equal. It's going to, it's not really going to, you know, again, if you see performance gains, it's going to be minimal. However, if you have a little bit older computer and it has like a regular old 5200 RPM hard drive or it's, um, you know, maybe a few years old, you might see a real improvement by using this. And we're going to show you how to do it. Right, and you know, the good thing is is that Windows isn't going to let you ruin your performance on your computer. If you use Ready Boost and your computer can perform faster without the flash drive, it just won't use it. So let's go ahead and turn to the computer and show you how this works. Um, I'll show you first of all, all I'm going to do is plug this right into the USB port in the computer. Um, I'll go ahead and do that now and then let's go to the computer and we'll, uh, I'll show you the demo on the screen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and first plug in the flash drive and the computer is going to make a little noise there to indicate that it's been plugged in. And uh, in most cases, you're going to get this autoplay screen. And one of the options that it's going to give you is the option to speed up my system. Now, keep in mind, if this does not come up, there's a chance that your flash drive may not be compatible with ReadyBoost. If that's the case, then you'll, you'll know right away because it won't show up here. I'm also going to show you the other way to get to this here in just a second. When we go ahead and click on speed up my system, it's going to open up the ReadyBoost properties for the drive. And you'll see right now it's set to do not use this device. You have a couple other options here. One is to dedicate this device to ReadyBoost, meaning that you're not going to use this flash drive for anything else. It's only going to be using, it's going to be, the computer's going to be using this just for ReadyBoost. The other option is to use this device and then choose how much of it you want to give to ReadyBoost. So let's say I wanted to give half of it, half of my two gig hard drive or flash drive to this, to ReadyBoost, and the other half I wanted to use for personal files. I can go ahead and set it like that and hit OK, and that's really all there is to it. It's going to go ahead and configure ReadyBoost, and once it's finished, it'll go ahead and start using it. Um, we'll go ahead and wait for this to finish here, and then I will show you the other way to get this, just in case your, your hard drive does not show up automatically, your flash drive does not show up automatically. The other way to do this is to go to Start and go to Computer, and you'll see that the, uh, the disk does show up here, and all we have to do is right-click on it and go to Properties, and we can go to the ReadyBoost tab. Now, if you don't have a ReadyBoost tab, that means that your flash drive doesn't support it, so you may need a faster flash drive or a higher capacity flash drive. Uh, I think that's just about it. See, easy as can be. Now, again, I know a lot of people don't know how fast their hard drives are, so uh, like Gary said, you can plug this in and see if it improves performance. Again, Windows is going to default to the faster way anyhow, but if you seem to be running out of RAM a lot and you want to just kind of experiment with it, this is a good way to go. It's easy and uh, there's nothing to it. And one other thing to mention is that this is not the ultimate solution. Um, this is a quick band-aid. It's going to allow your computer to maybe run a little bit faster based on this flash this flash hard drive that, you, that you're plugging into the USB port. But if you're looking for the best performance and your computer has the ability to add more RAM internally, you should definitely go that route. It's worth the extra money. Absolutely. Thanks for watching our video today. That's pretty much all we have. If you have any questions for us, we invite you to go to worldstart.com slash ask and type away. Let us know what you want to see on these videos. We're happy to, to do them for you right here. If you're not on our Computer Tips newsletter, make sure you sign up for that. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.